applaud that's huge. Okay. Hey, thank you. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today I am still in the lovely city of Brussels, Belgium where I am about to take on a pretty legendary challenge at a place called the Huggies Bar. The Huggies Bar has locations all over Belgium and I am really stoked to be doing one right down the road from our Airbnb here in Brussels. The Huggies Bar has this massive burger that you see in front of me called the THB Burger Challenge. I have one hour to finish all that you see here in order to get the meal for free and a spot up on the wall of fame but uh, what's making me nervous is this massive bun. So basically one hour to finish all of this, this bun is like um, basically a loaf of sourdough bread. So it has a little bit of, here's an ASMR moment, has a little bit of crunch to it. So a little nervous for that, but I am excited for the middle of this thing is a big old Belgian beef patty covered in oodles of cheese, bacon, healthy veggies, and then all sorts of THB sauce, which looks like a really delicious burger sauce. Then I also have to finish a big old thing of coleslaw and some, of course, we are in Belgium, some frites. So uh, of course, one hour to do this if I'm successful. As mentioned, I do get the meal for free and a spot up on the wall of fame, but even more important today, this should be hopefully win number two so that'll be a big moment for me. Hopefully I can get that, but I'm gonna have to earn it today. But one hour, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I think I might start with some fries. So one, two, three. It is burger eating time. Here we go. Mm. Oh, they're a good reach. Anybody else giggling because I said it's burger eating time and proceeded to eat a french fry? <laughs> All right, fries are down, we're working in reverse today. Mm. Now we're gonna see about getting started on this big old, uh, should I do a fork and knife? I'm gonna have to fork and knife this. I don't know what to do. Uh, yep, we're gonna do this. Oh boy, this is probably the lowest class way that I could have gone about eating this burger, but it made sense at the time. I had no idea how else to do this, so I just guess I did it kind of like a open face, low carb burger. <laughs> hey, it worked. It got the job done. It was actually really, really good. And do you know what made it even better? They grilled the onions for me. Normally, these are just raw red onions, and I requested that they saute them, grill them, something, and they did, and I was so jazzed. All right, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if my jaw can do this. My guess is no, but here we go. This looks impressive anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get through the top bun. All right, we're gonna go for the bun. You said you love bread. That's gonna suck. <laughs> we'll save that guy for the end. We'll do these two. I have never hated the idea of eating bread so much, but yeah, this was going to be a super tough one on the jaw, and I don't know if I was mentally ready for it yet. To be fair, the bottom bun is quite nice because it's really soft. It's just the top that's all crusty that's gonna be tough. This burger is cooked to perfection, by the way. The bottom bun wasn't an issue at all. It actually got nice and soft, I guess maybe from all the burger grease, as gross as that sounds, and maybe the sauce. So the bottom bun was pretty easy to get down, but yeah, I, I had that top one to look forward to. Oh, I would love a Diet Coke. And like 20 napkins. <laughs> she says with grease glistening upon her chin but yeah randy had asked if i needed anything and that was all i could think of aside from a lovely and refreshing diet coke what would i do without randy <laughs> be happy <laughs> <laughs> How to love that Belgian sense of humor. They are relentless, but it made for a really fun day. The crowd was awesome, and I so appreciated everyone there cheering me on. Is there a shirt? <laughs> oh, there's a shirt for winning, babe. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and a groovy t shirt. Yeah. The shirt won't fit me after this. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All my shirts are always extra larges. They don't expect smalls to come and order and do a food challenge. Sad but true. My groovy t-shirts are actually more like groovy dresses, maybe. <laughs> I just realized how conceited that sounded. Oh. 
which leads to my favorite saying of last year I was conceited, but this year I am perfect. And on that note, I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you all so much for watching this, hopefully win number 200, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Oh. Oh. Final bite of the meat. Yay. Oh. <laughs> and now it's just <laughs> like a gavel. All right, coleslaw, then the bun. Here we go. No doubt. Now it is onto the bun. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. Like a big baguette. I have cheese sauce on the side here just in case, but I'm watching my figure for real. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. Maybe not the record, but we're gonna do our best. So the record is out of reach, but I am still dunking because I love my jaw. So it's gonna be a little icky, I'm sorry, but the bread is chewy, so cheers to dunking. Don't yuck my yum. This is gross. I love this. It tastes like soaked pound cake. Oh, this is what I do at home while watching rom-coms. Just bread and crying. <laughs> last bite delicious with some cheese. <laughs> After a good burp. Oh, that was underwhelming. Okay. Final bite of a really delicious challenge here at the Huggies Bar. Really cool spot. So if you find a Huggies Bar location, I believe they all offer this challenge. It's right on the menu. THP challenge. I unfortunately did not come away with the record, but I did come away with the win and surprisingly some groovy merch. So that's amazing. So cheers to the final bite. Thank you. Spongebob cue card 10 years later. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> and, huh. well, an underwhelming time of 35 minutes and 52 seconds, but still really proud of that. Really excited to celebrate win 200, um, and especially in a different country as well. Loving traveling the world right now. Europe is amazing. So uh, definitely, if you have a chance, visit Brussels, visit Belgium. Really nice people, really good food. But meanwhile, I'm just going to impatiently wait for a celebratory milkshake, which apparently has speculoos in it. But thankfully for winning, I do, of course, get the meal for free. My spot up on the Wall of Fame and the groovy t-shirt that I mentioned, and of course, eternal glory. And I'm going to continue boasting about win 200 because that's really surreal. So huh, a big thank you to you guys for watching. I'll probably catch you guys while I'm chugging a milkshake. Okay, peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>